In September 2023, NASA recovered the largest asteroid sample ever obtained by a space mission. The sample originated from Bennu, a potential Earth-impacting asteroid with a composition that can provide scientists a window into the early solar system. NASA's opened the sample return canisters cover on September 26, 2023 at Johnson Space Center in Houston, two days after the OSIRIS-REx mission had returned to Earth with the asteroid sample. Scientists gasped as the lid was opened to reveal an unexpected layer of black dust and debris covering the canister's avionics deck. In addition to this, the sample weighed 100 grams heavier than the one collected at Bennu, despite the fact that the sample had been safely stored in a sealed container the entire time. What could have created the unexpected black dust on the avionics deck of the canister? How did the sample become heavier? Finally, what do scientists hope to gain from the most in-depth investigation of an asteroid sample ever returned to Earth? When the OSIRIS-REx mission was launched on September 8, 2016, it had three main goals. Goal one was to collect uncontaminated samples from the asteroid Bennu so that researchers could study the composition and evolution of early asteroids. Goal two was to categorize the asteroid by thoroughly analyzing Bennu's size, shape, surface and mineral composition for scientific insights. Goal three was an impact risk assessment. As previously stated, Bennu is a potentially dangerous asteroid and it will pass relatively close to Earth on September 25, 2135. Scientists wanted to know more about the asteroid and what damage it could cause, even though its exact future trajectory is impossible to predict due to the gravity that our planet will exert on it affecting its route. After a journey of over two years, four months, OSIRIS-REx arrived at Bennu on December 3, 2018. It had traveled over 1.4 billion miles. In order to find the ideal spot for sample collection, it entered an orbit around the asteroid and performed a detailed mapping survey. After extensive analysis, the mission selected a site on Bennu, known as Nightingale, as the sample collection site due to its favorable conditions. The sample collection event took place on October 20, 2020. The plan was to do this using the spacecraft's touch-and-go sample acquisition mechanism, which briefly touched the surface. This robotic arm would then stow the collected material safely in a sample return capsule to ensure it would remain pristine and uncontaminated during its journey back to Earth. Because Bennu is a tiny asteroid with a diameter of barely half a kilometer, the arm had to collect the sample in almost no gravity. There was no margin for error, and OSIRIS-REx had only one shot. As the spacecraft made contact with Bennu, a burst of nitrogen gas was used to create motion and pull surface material into the sample collection area. A sample of at least 60 grams was required. However, OSIRIS-REx collected 300 grams of the material during its brief nine-second encounter with Bennu five times the amount expected by NASA. The sample was contained, but there was a problem. The material was escaping due to a flap becoming clogged by larger boulders. To avoid further loss, NASA decided to postpone the sample's scheduled measurement and seal it for the return to Earth. On May 10, 2021, OSIRIS-REx departed Bennu and began its journey back to Earth. After nearly two and a half years, the spacecraft arrived in Earth's orbit on September 24, 2023, and released the precious capsule containing the asteroid sample. Upon re-entry into Earth's atmosphere, the capsule reached a speed of 8 miles per second and experienced temperatures of over 4,000 degrees Fahrenheit. It then released a series of parachutes to slow its descent. After the spacecraft successfully landed at the Utah Test and Training Range, it was recovered by NASA. A few days later, scientists at NASA's Johnson Space Center in Houston lifted the lid on the OSIRIS-REx mission's sample return canister. They were welcomed by a scene that both surprised and delighted them. They saw that there was a layer of black powder containing sand-sized granules of material covering the entire canister, as well as on the avionics deck, which they assumed belonged to Bennu. 
they immediately began to ask themselves how this unexpected bonus material came to be there. NASA's thinking is that OSIRIS-REx's brief impact with Bennu may have caused a shockwave that spread throughout the asteroid's surface, resulting in the expulsion of material into space. As OSIRIS-REx went away from Bennu, some of this material stuck to the spacecraft's outer surfaces. In addition to this, a portion of it also entered the sample canister through the open flap, mixing with the material collected in the touch-and-go maneuver. This resulted in the sample's overall mass, including dust and debris, to be around 400 grams, exceeding the 300-gram mission objective, potentially offering unique insights into Bennu's composition. The sample held within the collection device was exposed to little excessive heat or pollution throughout the return trip, which accounts for its sustained excellent condition. However, the dark powder on the exterior of the canister and avionics deck poses a unique challenge. It requires careful handling and cleaning by scientists using specialized equipment and methods to ensure none of the content is lost. As it is collected, each item of dust and debris must be carefully recorded and catalogued as sample inventory. This test mission and its success is historically significant. But why are space agencies investing billions of dollars visiting space rocks that are hardly half a mile wide? They do this because asteroids are time capsules. They are remnants from the early solar system, preserving materials and conditions from its formation over 4.6 billion years ago. They contain pristine, unaltered material, providing insights into the solar system's history, composition and processes. Their minimal geological activity and lack of atmosphere have preserved their ancient characteristics, allowing us to refine our understanding of planetary formation, evolution and the origin of life's building blocks. If you like this video, please consider leaving a like or subscribing. Please also share your thoughts, theories and speculations in the comments section below. We would love to hear from you. Thank you for watching.